ready, set, go. When I was a mum of kindy age kids, we went to so many birthday parties, who can relate? So you know the kind, you buy a gift, you show up, you enjoy the noise and the sugar levels, but something was really kind of strange, it wasn't familiar to me at all. Every kid that showed up, and everybody was invited, everyone took home a prize, everyone got a gift, even if it wasn't your birthday, I thought, what the heck is going on in Sunshine Coast? It's really weird. <laughs> Very strange. So when school started, it seemed every day required a roster, parents to bring a plate, and another opportunity to clap and cheer. Um, all I'm up for encouragement. But you go to the swim carnival, every kid wins a ribbon. When you read a book, you get a certificate. And kids are being rewarded for stuff that they need to be doing anyway. It's really weird. So one day my son came home and I found the bottom of his bag, his uneaten lunch and a certificate. And I'm like, what's this, mate? He goes, Mum, is this a show up award? <laughs> it meant absolutely nothing to him because he didn't earn it. So showing up, I believe, is like the starting line. Everyone is equal, we're encouraged, and we're all participating. What happens next is what counts. So work works, and I think that's what should be rewarded and recognised, because nobody's ever seen the showing up Olympics. I haven't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so like most overthinkers, I was wondering, was I the only wowser that had a problem with this? Because that's not unfamiliar to me either. <laughs> uh, and I started to reflect on my own life, and I thought, I wonder what happened if I'd just shown up and did nothing else. I wonder how different my life would be. <laughs> So when I first showed up, um, I was born to a 17-year-old mum. I was to be adopted out. The nurses called me Leone. Fun little fact for you. Um, and my great aunt, a Catholic nun, came and pinned a brooch on me, phoned my grandma and said I was good enough to keep. So with that, I got to go home. So when I showed up as a baby, my mum returned to work to provide for us. My grandma cared for me and her three other children as well. So thank goodness for grandparents and their old school values. I miss them so much every day. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, the man I called Dad uh, married my mum, had two more kids. When I was about five or six, we had these fetching jumpers made by my grandma. <laughs> we went to the city for an important meeting, that's all I remember. And it was a showing up award for my dad. It was the day that he adopted me. And he's an incredible man. So I was a quiet, eager to please kid with a really bad bowl cut. The only expectation was to do my best. And I remember receiving this award in kindergarten, wondering what all the fuss was about, feeling really nervous. Um, but being the eldest, I was the responsible one, the one that needed to be the example to your siblings, you know, no matter how bad they were. I tried really hard at school. I was helpful at home. And one day I came home with my very own award. It was the Good Kid Award. And I thought, wow, this is how people perceive me. And I was a bit worried about it. So I had to keep being the good kid because I had the certificate now. So it was really tough as a young teenager. I was sexually assaulted by a family member. My parents divorced. I learned that I had a biological dad and everything was just not making sense. So I felt like I had to show up more for myself. It was the only way. Um, but the, tori the story you tell yourself gets really boring. Others get sick of it really quickly too. Um, I believe challenges are compulsory. That's what shaped you. So um, it's an opportunity to see what happens next. And I just kept doing it. So if you want to grow, you show up where you're uncomfortable. Thanks, Richard. Um, I'm not a believer in fake it till you make it. Show what you know, what confuses you, and what you're clueless about. It's called vulnerability, and I think we could all do with a whole lot more of it. Um, that's what I believe anyway. So I recognised at the end of the season, the good kid had to make a decision as now a grown woman, a mother of two, and after 17 years of marriage, I left. Um, I kept showing up, there was no love, and I wanted to be happy, not the kind that just showed on your face. So I then met somebody who brought colour to my life, but a lot of black days, um, depression, he is not mine, domestic violence. Um, I kept showing up, but I was convinced I was unlovable and deserving of, of you know, being punished for not being a good kid. But thankfully there was a plot twist. I landed at Sunny Kids. It was five soul-filling years for me. And the words of my grandma were, unless you want to swap places with the person in front of you, you need to do something about it. When you show up and give of yourself, you don't end up with less. So once I had to sneak out of the house to attend an awards ceremony, five years on as a finalist in those same awards, I was surrounded by amazing quality people and I felt like the good kid had finally arrived and she was a good woman. Um, I almost got worthy, which was something new for me. So. Um, navigating life solo for the next five years, um, I felt brave. I thought I might get a cat as a companion. But thankfully my good friend um, talked me into you know, going online as you do. I met the unicorn of a good man and he believes in me, um, which is completely awesome. But what I've realised is there is actually no showing up award and you should show up anyway. Uh, be honest with yourself, forgive yourself. 
don't suffer any Muppets, yeah. they're jokers. Um, do more for love than what you do for money, it's really important. Take more photos, and nights like tonight, where you're lucky undies, show up. <laughs> Have a great time.